While a few blocks away, the Emergencies Act inquiry heard more critical testimony with proceedings that got so heated, one lawyer was told to leave. CTV's Judy Trin was there. The lawyer for the Freedom Convoy tossed for breaking the rules. Come outside. Brendan Miller verbally demanded the addition of a new witness instead of submitting a written application, testing the commissioner's patience. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm speaking. It's not I'm speaking. been ruled on and okay. been filed for days. I will take a break while uh, you're asked Sir? to leave. Miller was frustrated with a process he felt wasn't transparent enough. They have tried to turn this entire proceeding into an inquiry about the failures of Chief Slawley as opposed to actually about the invocation of the Emergencies Act. Inside, the public safety minister defended the use of the Emergencies Act, even as he admitted to disregarding this email from the RCMP commissioner. On February 13th, Brenda Lucky wrote that police had not yet exhausted all available tools available through existing legislation. I don't recall exactly when I would have seen it. Marco Mendicino said alarming developments in Alberta overshadowed the email. The RCMP had uncovered a plot by extremists gathering at the Coots border blockade to kill police. They had ideologically extremist views and symbolism that was attached to the group that they were prepared to go down uh, with the cause. On February 14th, hours after the coup's arrest, the government passed the Emergencies Act. Lawyers for the Alberta and Saskatchewan government have said they were not consulted on suspending civil liberties. But the Intergovernmental Affairs Minister said there had been broad discussions about how to deal with the growing protests. There was a an ongoing and active effort, both at the level of ministers but senior officials supporting them, to reach out to provincial jurisdictions. After apologizing to the commissioner, the Freedom Convoy's lawyer was allowed to return to the proceedings. And Omar, we are in the home stretch. There are only three more days left in this inquiry. All right, Judy Trin in Ottawa tonight.